Heteronthosaurs are one of the earliest groups of dinosaurs, and so they're enormously important for understanding the earliest stages of dinosaur evolution. Most people tend to think of dinosaurs as being very large. Heteronthosaurs, like many other early dinosaur groups, were actually relatively small. Adult heteronthosaurs were about a metre in length, and they weighed about one to two kilos, about the same as um, a couple of bags of sugar. So they were similar in size to turkeys. We mostly find heteronthosaurs in today's um, southern Africa, particularly South Africa and Lesotho. They were around about 200 million years ago, in a period of time called the Early Jurassic. At that time, the environment was pretty similar to the environment where we find these fossils today. It was very dry, very arid, there wasn't much vegetation. This is a cast of a skull of an adult Heteronthosaurus, and you can see the very small size of it, even though this is an adult individual. Here is the eye socket, and in front of that you have the snout, and down here you have the teeth. Now, at the front of the, um, the jaws, you have enlarged fang-like canines, and behind that you have a closely packed array of heavily worn, grinding, molar-like teeth. So this is very unusual for reptiles. Most reptiles have a dentition in which the same teeth, uh, the same morphology of tooth is present all along the tooth row. And it gives rise to the name Heteronthosaurus, which means different toothed reptile. Um, this skull um, was discovered in the collections of the South African Museum in Cape Town. Here we have the eye socket. Here we have the nostril. Here we have a fang-like canine in the lower jaw, and here we have the teeth of the upper jaw. It's long been thought that um, heterontosaurs were strictly herbivorous, that they only fed upon plants, and that the canines were only present in males and were used for fighting or for territory or for females. The new specimen shows that actually the canines are present very early on during growth. And this is something we wouldn't expect if it's a feature that's only present in males. We'd expect them to appear later during growth. We think instead that the canines might have had a role in feeding, that um, they might have been used for feeding upon small animals or perhaps insects, and that rather than being strictly herbivorous, rather than solely feeding upon plant matter, heteronthosaurs may have fed on both plant and animal matter. So it's possible that they represent a transitional phase between the earliest meat-eating dinosaurs and the later plant-eating dinosaurs. If so, this new discovery has enormous potential for helping us understand the evolution of dinosaur diets.